their achievement was their calendar system, the Mayan calendar. But we know now that the Olmecs, those mysterious predecessors of the Maya, used precisely the same calendar. So it's clear that the Maya inherited it from the Olmecs. And is it possible that the Olmecs inherited it from an even earlier and higher civilization, long lost to history? This is a calendar that incorporates a more accurate length of the solar year that we use in our Gregorian calendar today. It's based on precise and extremely careful long-term astronomical observations of the heavens. Observations that uh, focused, amongst other things, on, on the synodic return of the uh, planet Venus and measured that uh, extremely precisely. It's the work of master astronomers. It's this calendar, the uh, Olmec or Mayan calendar, which most uh, thoroughly enshrines the notion of recurrent destructions of the Earth, that we live in great cycles, and that each cycle will sooner or later come to an end and end the world in which we live. And like the Aztecs, the Maya believed that there had been four previous epochs of the Earth and that we still live in the fifth epoch, the fifth sun. But unlike the Aztecs, the Maya, through their calendar, were able to calculate exactly when the fifth epoch of the Earth would come to an end. When we translate their calendar into our calendar, we find that they're telling us that all civilization will be ended by a great movement of the Earth on the 23rd of December, 2012 AD. I promise that I'm not running up and down Oxford Street in a sandwich board, <laughs> crying that the end of the world is nigh. I sincerely hope that the end of the world is not nigh. I would like my children and all our children to have a bright and happy future in this garden of experience that we call the Earth and the opportunity to learn and to grow and to face challenges just as we have all done. But I don't think that we should write off the warnings that have come down to us from the past as though they certainly have no meaning because these warnings have come down to us from wise people, people whose origins we really do not understand. And I'd just like to mention in passing that all of these warnings also say something else. They say that the destruction of the world is not entirely an act of God or nature, that in some mysterious manner, we ourselves are always involved in it. We ourselves, through our actions, through our cruelty, through our materialism, play a role in the destruction of our environment. And when I look around the world today at the force of evil that is rampant in the world, the destruction, the murder, the murder of children, the cruelty, the awful things that human beings do to each other using one another, although they're just, as though they're just objects, I can't help getting an eerie shiver of apprehension at that Mayan prophecy that the end of our civilization may indeed come before too long. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can do something about it. Maybe we can wake up to the spiritual desert that we've created on this planet and look to who and what we really are. And if we're going to do that, I'm convinced we have to go back to the ancient wisdom and listen to the voices of the past and listen to that accumulated experience and knowledge of mankind that we so blithely write off just because we imagine that we're the apex and pinnacle of creation. If civilizations rise and fall, if mankind has climbed more than once to the pinnacle that we've reached today, then all of this is entirely, entirely possible. The people who made this monument had an amazing knowledge of astronomy because this monument is what's called an equinoctial marker. Every year on the spring equinox, the figure of a gigantic feathered serpent is seen to undulate up and down this stairway for a little bit over three hours. It's an illusion of light and shadow, a trick. But it's a trick that is achieved by the precise geodetic positioning of this monument. These were a people 
who had observed the heavens very, very closely and who had a science of positioning monuments on the ground so that they would signal particular moments of the year. No mean feat and not something that we should regard as the work of primitives.